Here goes the finished product, everybody. I painted it up under this tree. I ain't had no other place to paint it. And um, bird had pooped on it, so I had to rinse it off this morning. As you can see, she came out pretty good. Yes, she did. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Had a big rust problem right here. I took care of that. And right in this area too. I just painted over all that. I didn't take that stuff off. I masked everything off. Nice smooth paint job. Did it outside. I used two 26 gallon tanks. I had combined them together and uh, so I can have more longer pressure, you know. Ain't wanna run the air too quick. It's still not good as a 60 gallon tank, but hey, it works just fine. As you can see, look at that gloss. Put the lights back in a little later on and send the rack back on the top. Yeah. Came out pretty good. So if you wanna paint your own vehicle, learn how to paint your own vehicle, I just showed you it's simple. You know, it's a lot of work as far as all the sanding and everything. The painting part is the easy part. But, you know, everything else, if you don't have any body work, you know, you still got a lot of prepping to do. You know, 400 sanding. I sanded it with um, dry sandpaper, 400 grit. And then I re-sanded it, wet sanded it with 400, the whole vehicle by hand. And, um, you know... You gotta get up all, all in you gotta get in all these little spots. I mean you gotta get all up in there, man. You gotta sand everything. Or the paint won't stick. It'll flake off on you sooner or later. So you gotta sand everything real good. Sand it down to the paint is dull. Once it get real dull, no shine. Clean it up real good, wash it, wipe it down with grease and wax remover, and um pretty much you're ready to go. You're good to go. That's it. Yes. Yes, indeed. Thanks for watching.